If you're looking to boost your immune system, try Titan Medical Center's Tri-Immunity Therapy with vitamin C, zinc, and glutathione. Vitamin C is well known for its immune boosting power. It plays an integral role in the manufacturing and performance of our white blood cells. It's also an antioxidant, which means it can reverse oxidative stress, essentially the aging process of the body by removing toxins. Vitamin C boosts the immune system as well as overall health. Zinc is great for the immune system, skin, health, and wound healing. The body's immune system needs zinc to do its job. It's considered an essential nutrient, meaning your body can't produce it or store it. It's also required for numerous processes in your body, including gene expression, enzymatic reactions, immune function, protein and DNA synthesis, growth and development. Glutathione is the mother of all antioxidants. It's contained within our bodies and acts as a buffer for harmful toxins, chemicals, or damaged cells that are introduced. The body is capable of producing its own glutathione, which keeps the body healthy and functioning properly. It can be depleted quickly if a person is sick, has been working out hard, drinking or smoking, which can lead to more illnesses. Glutathione can also help with workout recovery and those leading active lifestyles. If you're interested in more information, call or text Titan Medical Center today at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. What's up, guys? We're back again. My name's John. I'm the CEO of Titan Medical Center. I'm here with my good friend, Thaddeus Broad, a.k.a. Titus O'Neill, a WWE sensation. So, you know, today he stopped by, you know, he's on a couple different therapies. So I said, hey, listen, Thaddeus, why don't you just highlight with one therapy that you might like a lot, right? And he talked about Hercules Potion, which is our injectable vitamin amino acid therapy. So I'm just going to pass over to you, let him tell you, you know, kind of how it feels or what you're getting out of it, really. Yeah, the, the biggest thing is recovery. You know, um, you can buy aminos, amino acids over the counter, put powders in. I've been doing that for years. I usually do it now just to flavor my water because uh, the, what, what I get with my Titan product, it gives me the opportunity to know for sure that I'm getting all the amino acids that I need to make sure that I get the best possible recovery I can possibly get. And with all the travel that I do, the training I do at 5, 5.30 in the morning, um, and just all the running, hustle, and bustle. Amino acids, to me, is one of those things that everybody should have within their uh, regimen oh, yeah. for training and nutrition, simply because of the recovery aspect. Yeah, I mean, even day-to-day, -day, right? So precursors to you know, amino acids are building blocks of protein. So these help in all different aspects, from your branched-chain amino acids all the way down to glutamine, arginine, ornithine, lysine, L-citrulline, proline, taurine, mm -hmm. NAC, and L-carnitine, which are all in Hercules Potion. Um, the BCAAs you're going to get from Titan Complete, and that's where we're going to put Titus on next so he has that full component aspect. But, you know, anything from recovery from glutamine, arginine, L-citrulline, great for vasodilation, blood flow, that massive pump, that pump that holds about four to six hours. Ornithine, let him do more strenuous workouts and activity because he's in there, right? And he's only got a limited amount of time to get everything done to hit the goal that he wants to do. So he's trying to maximize time in there and maximize the results by doing this. And then you have all these other things like NAC, it's great for liver functions. Lysine, which is great for immune system. He travels a lot, right? And you have L-carnitine there, great for blood flow, great for muscle building and you have proline in there so you know he's been through a lot of different things from football to WWE and all these things getting banged up so he needs some extra lubricant in the joint areas to make sure he can you know walk and not look like the tin man right yeah. you don't want to look like that when you're walking down you're feeling like it sometimes in the morning too <laughs> I have to get on my resume readjust you're like yeah, ah, ah. oh man I feel like that but he's definitely been through more wear and tear than me I think um, but yeah, so we just want to highlight Hercules Potion for you guys, give you guys the full insider scoop from Thaddeus, a.k.a. Titus O'Neill. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for coming down Absolutely. again. Absolutely. Love you, bro. Tighten up. <laughs>
Um, I was at this event, Festival of Speed, and I was talking to a potential Titan Medical Center patient. I was just talking to him, you know, just everyday stuff like, hey, listen, how's things going? Or, you know, are you feeling bad? Or what's going on? So then, you know, he says, well, I have an interest in your company, but I had a really bad experience with another company that kind of does what you do. And, you know, I'm curious. I'm like, hey, well, what went on? You know, why do you want to transfer over to us? Like, you know, I always ask that question because if you're happy, you're going to stay where you're at, right? If you're unhappy or something's going wrong, you're going to want to move to somewhere where they're going to take care of you. So I asked him, like, listen, what's going on? So he then proceeds to tell me that this company um, tells him that, you know, he has to buy medications six months or a minimum of two months of all the therapies that he's recommended. And I'm like, well, why? You know, and he tells me because they told him that compounding pharmacies, this compounding pharmacy made the medication specifically for him. The doses, the transportation rate, everything was just made custom for him, right? Well, that is so untrue, guys. I'm here to tell you guys straight. I've been doing this for over a decade myself. I've dealt with all the compound pharmacies out there, US licensed pharmacies all over the United States. And I know that that is a lie, okay? It's a blatant lie. So at this point, compounded pharmacies make batches of medications. Now they can make a custom dosage here or there or a custom transportation rate, but they don't do it all the time, trust me. And they're not doing it for the masses out there, I promise you because it would take so much time and so much effort and a lot more money for them to do it. So that is a bold lie. So if anybody tells you they have to lock you in and give you two months to six months of medication because it's specifically made directly for you and nobody else can use it, that is a lie, okay? Straight up lie. So at that point, watch out for that. That's a total red flag. You know, when, when people are telling you things like this, they're just trying to hit home runs on you. Then he tells me that, you know, this company, of course, when he was signing up, they were all there. And then after he got his medication, when he had questions about this medication, all this other stuff, he couldn't get a call back. People wouldn't return his phone calls for four to five days afterwards. What if he had a real allergic reaction to that medication? What if he had a serious complaint about that medication? And the problem is, is that you should only be have to lock into one month of your medication therapies. Now, if you want to do more after you've already took your first initial month and everything is good to go and you're all dialed in, then that's fine. But initially, right, if you go over one month of your therapy packages, you might not know what you're getting into. And let me explain. Some people need different doses of medications, whether it's HRT or peptides or whatever it is. This particular patient that was coming on had to be locked in for five months of his medication. It cost him $3,400. I'm like, man, that's a lot of money to be dishing out. And I'm like, well, are you happy with it? You know what's going on? He's like, no, I'm not getting any results from it. And I felt really, really bad for him because he was stuck in this situation and he didn't know that that wasn't right. Because you know, as we're trained growing up, right, we go to medical providers or medical clinics and we have the basis of, listen, they know what's best for me. I'm going to follow what they want me to do. This is what it's going to do to help me. So at this point, they don't ever question things. They just go with what the medical provider or the medical clinic says. With this, that is a total uh, obstruction of his trust. You know, at that point, he shouldn't have had to be in that situation to dish out that money and for this medication that he didn't know how it was going to affect him. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. He's stuck with his medication now and he can't even use it or doesn't want to use it, but he paid all this money for it. He's like, I, I, I might as well use it, right? And at that point, he didn't know he had other options out there. And that's what I want you guys to know. There are other places out there like Titan Medical Center that will only do a one month therapy package for you. That way we know exactly what's going to work for you. Because the cold hard facts of it is, is some medications might hit differently for you than to somebody else. Somebody might need a different amount of medication as far as dosage wise or a different transportation rate or whatever it is. So at this point, you wanna make sure that you guys have the ammo behind you and know what is right and what's wrong. So at this point, when you're looking for somebody to take care of your preventative and anti-aging health, you wanna look at all these different factors. Are they gonna be there for me, right? All the way through and through, not when you just sign up, okay? Two. Are they trying to lock you into a six month contract or six month of medications right off the bat? That's a red flag and a bad, bad sign for you to get out of there as fast as possible. And three, is your medications taking longer than a normal to get to you? What do I mean by that? So Titan Medical Center gets your medication to you, we usually say three to four business days, right? Because pharmacies can get backed up, especially holidays, whatever it is, and we want to under promise and over deliver. But some places take people two, three weeks to get their medications. 
This is a problem, right? Because the whole point of you being on some of these medications is to be consistent with these medications and not to be inconsistent. And that's what we preach, right? So if you preach consistency, but you can't get their medications to them in time for them to be consistent, that's another problem. And that could be affecting your health too as well, or your daily routine, whatever you guys want to call it. So at this point, you guys need to look for somebody that's going to have your best interest at heart. And that's definitely Titan Medical Center. And even if you don't want to come to Titan Medical Center, that's cool too. But I want you guys to know what you guys are getting into and what to look for out there. Because there's a lot of fly-by-night clinics out there. Like I said, I've been doing this over a decade, right? So one of the longest standing HRT, preventive anti-aging medical clinics in the country. And I see a lot of people that are popping up left and right, but going down just as quick or not around. Right? They're quick to sell you the medications, to get you on board, and to get those refills. They just want you to sign up for automatic dings on your credit card. Every month they're going to ding your credit card, not call you, not text you, not ask how you're doing, and just send you out the medications month by month. That is wrong. That is not doing right by you or your health. You guys deserve a lot better than that, and I want to make sure you guys are going to get that. So guys, if you have any questions about anything I covered in here, or you guys want to become a Type Medical Center patient, or even look into some of the therapies that may help you guys, then call or text us today. We are open to talk to all you guys. 727-389-3220. If you want to look at some of the therapies that we offer, go over to TypeMedicalCenter.com. Check them out. You can read up all about them. You can even go to YouTube and check out some of the videos that we have on some of these different therapies, how to use them. We want our patients educated about their therapies, about how they're going to help them, and about what they can do better for themselves. So guys, don't delay. Make sure you guys are making the right decision with your health and your body. Contact Titan Medical Center if we can help you. Thank you. What's up guys, John here from Titan and uh, it's lunch break for me. So I gotta get my meals in, I gotta get my food in. You know, it's real hard for anybody out there that wants to get their meals in, they're working all the time. Trust me, we know how that is. Um, but even if you're working all the time, there's other choices out there, there's things you can get from places, either take out or order them delivered to you. This is just an example of what I get here. And this is lunch for me. So I've got three grilled chicken breasts, Real nice. Um, there's a little bit of pasta underneath both of them. I won't eat all that pasta, but there's nothing on it, like no butter or anything like that. So it's just regular dry pasta, so I can get a little bit of carbs in. And then I've got chili and sea bass right here, which I'm going to eat too as protein. So, you know, everything's here that I need as far as my midday meal. And I'll be having another meal here in a couple hours, but this is what I'm going for as my second meal of the day. Um, my first one was steak, obviously, and uh, white rice. I also had 10 egg whites, and I'm going to eat this right now and continue on with my journey. So remember, you got to eat healthy to be healthy, right? And do everything else along with it, with the training and exercise, possibly tighten therapies, whatever else as far as sleep and other things are gonna help you and benefit you guys as far as your quality of life, improving your day-to-day -day functions, energy, brain capacity, and your health and youth. So guys, get on the eating train too as well. Eat like a Titan. Live the Titan lifestyle. We love you guys. Stay tight and strong every single day.
What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful wife here, Sharice, are going to be going over topics that will hopefully help entice, enhance, and take your relationship to a whole new level. And don't worry, if you are in a relationship, you can use this vital information to make your next relationship a super success. Because that's what it's all about. Having a successful relationship, long-lasting, loving, and caring relationship, you know, to go on forever and ever and ever. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> or so we hope, right? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> and, uh, you know, every week, you know, we want to go over great topics. Now, this is some stuff that me and Sharice have experienced maybe throughout the years or we've seen from friends or other relationships that we've seen around us. And, you know, you want to take all that knowledge, soak it all up, and utilize it for your relationship or your future relationship, and that is as well. And one thing that we always talk about in every episode, can you give a lot of good you know, topics or tri tricks, is uh, communication. And we talk about it every single time. And how communication is the most vital, or one of the most vital parts of your relationship. And being able to you know, tell your partner what's going on, talk to them about issues, talk to them about where you want to go in life or what you're trying to achieve, and having them on the same page with you. Right? Or if you're just having a problem. And you yep. need to address it. Yeah. That's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Got to figure out how to communicate that. Yeah, yeah. Over and, to them. And I think that's the biggest problem with relationships out there or people is that, you know, they get in relationships. Um, they can communicate at work just fine, I guess. But some people, when they get in situations with their significant other, there's different ways that they cope with this communication process. And if it's something negative per se, like, you do something wrong or your significant other starts yelling at you about something or saying that they don't like something, you know, what do you do? What happens? And ask yourself, what do I do when this situation happens? And some people, they shut down, right? Like right away, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know what? I don't want to talk about this. I don't care. I'm going. See you later. And they might not even think about it again. And that's not good either, right? They try now, to just blow it you're off. burying it. Yeah. You're never going to be able to bury it. You're just, all you're doing is really putting it in a bucket. And the bucket, you ever notice when you put sand in a bucket, it doesn't actually, like, the sand doesn't leave the bucket, right? It just keeps going on top and yeah. then on top and then yeah. on top. And then at some point, the sand just overflows on the bucket. Yeah. Then you have to address it because, you know, can't put more sand in the bucket. And then you're probably going to have to deal with more problems that you've been covering up. <sighs> True fact right yeah, there, right? Yeah, it's ugly. So, you know, when you have a problem or issue that arises, you know, it's best to try to hit it head on. Now, dealing with a head-on situation mm -hmm. can be a little bit different too and challenging because you got two people that are involved. It's not just yourself that's dealing with this issue. It's the other person. And depending on what side of the coin that you're on, you know, is <laughs> where you're going to be either more patient to hear about something or not want to hear about something and then the other person's going to want to get it off their chest and explain it or tell you in one way, shape, or form that you might not like. Mm -hmm. And at that point, you got to communicate. You got to talk about these problems or issues. And it might not just be a negative thing either, right? It Communication, could be it could be, listen, this could be about, listen, what's our future going to be? Or what, what are we, this, this kids, what are kids doing? Or what, what are we, where are we sending the kids for school? Or, I mean, it could be literally about anything. It's just, some people just hold back. Yeah. And all of a sudden, they're lashing out at you, like, out of nowhere in the middle of dinner. You're like, what in the world is going on with you? Like, what is your problem? Right. You know, so I think, I really think, um, probably one of the most important things, like, if I had to pick the top little, you know, top little things here, are the bullets. Um, the first one is, and this is just me personally, right? And I don't always process all of my thoughts um, right away before I speak because I'm not that great at it. I've gotten better at it through the years, you know? Um, but I try to process a little bit of it before I start speaking so that I can at least present it properly or like at least present it with some sort of, you know, a, a non-aggressive way, maybe. I try my very best. <laughs> I'm just an aggressive individual. <laughs> very aggressive all the time um but you know that that's number one right so just process everything before you speak number two right um is to always make sure that whenever you guys are talking you guys can't talk at the same time because if you guys are both talking at the same time you are not listening to each other right True. so if you're if you're both talking 
Neither one of you can hear each other. So you're going to have, one of you guys is going to have to shut up. Not in my, my language, but you're just going to have to shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut you know? <laughs> so one of you guys going to have to be quiet and listen. And then, you know, not just like, you know, I mean, really process what they're saying yeah. so that you can give them a, a response or at least think about it yeah. or whatever it is. Right. And I'm not even talking about things that are, you know, like I said, like he was saying, fighting or anything. Yeah. But that's number two. Number three, one thing I've learned with John specifically is... And this was in the beginning of the relationship. I used to do this all the time. It was always you, 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 you. I would always start the conversation with you, this, you, that, you, 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 you. So I finally, throughout the years, it took a long time. But, and see, this is what I'm saying. You guys are getting shortcuts. Like, this is like, you guys are cheating. So, anyways. But, you know, throughout the years, I've started to be like, all right, I need to, re like, reword this. And I'm, I started saying, like, I... And this is how I feel about it. This is how I am feeling and thinking right now. Instead of it being like pointing the finger and being like, you did this, you did that. You aren't listening. You are it did that, that pointing the finger and yelling. It does not get you very far. Now, does it get, does it happen? Yeah, it might happen, Absolutely, but you does. know, but I mean, if you can try to calm down for a minute, which is taking, like I said, it's taking me years to do, but um, try to calm down for a minute, process it, and then maybe just word things correctly. Presentation is everything. True story. Yeah. I mean, presentation is everything. The way that you really bring up the conversation, whatever it is, and present it is probably going to be the way it's going to be accepted. You know, if you come at somebody really aggressive and defensive, they're probably going to get defensive right back to you, you know, and that's not going to be a good way to start a conversation and communicate, right? You got to be open. Um, and both pairs got to be open. Mm -hmm. And then when we're talking about talking one at a time, that's great. But you got to be able to give your partner the time to talk too as well. It's not just a one side street, right? Because if somebody's like you, you or I or I think, and you just don't let them talk, then they're like, well, you know, I really didn't get my point across, or maybe how the way that I feel. Because there's always, you know, there's always three sides to a story. But when you're dealing with two people, you have two different people in the way that maybe they perceive something, right. or the way um, they think, they think something, or the way they look at it. And at that point, you got that's what you guys got to talk about, right? Right. Compromise. You see, well, you got yeah, you know, you see the whole picture on, on both sides. Of, you know, I see your side, I see my side, and you know, this is kind of what we need to do to bring everything together so we can resolve this issue, right? Or come together, you know, to to conquer the solution. Yeah, you know, the next battle we're gonna we're gonna face together. You know, whether it's maybe you know. You know, when you want to get a house, when you want to have kids, um, you know, where you want to have your wedding if you're going to get married, you know, all these different things, right? Who's, who's, who's a family we're going to go over for holidays this year? Are we going to go over both? We're going to go over one this year and the one next Why year? Why your mom first? Why my mom first? Why here first? Why here second? Would they want to do it at the same time? Well, why, why do you have to go to yours, you know? You're going to get a lot of these different things. And, you know, you don't really think about these little things, you, really you know, until you're in the relationship and you're dealing with these things. And yeah. you're like, man, I didn't think I'd ever have to deal with something like this in a relationship. Like, you know, like I just thought it was going to be pizza and cream. You know, everybody's going to get along. Right. Okay. It's going to be a beautiful thing, a utopia out there um, where everybody is just in holly jolly moods and, and everybody's just going to, you know, just let, let line dogs lie and, and have a great time together. Uh. Not going to happen. Right? <laughs> you know, there's a lot of different personalities out there family's mixture or even yourselves you know what you think might be good the other partner might not think is so good mm -hmm. and as you establish a relationship you go on and on and on you'll start learning more and more about your partner too so this will be able this should help you to be able to communicate and if you're in a long longer relationship and communication is starting to shut down mm. that's definitely not a good thing not good. um you know because you establish that in the beginning of the relationship and you should be adding on top of that through the years and be able to communicate even more yeah not like shut the person down when they start talking to you not good you know then they won't want to talk to you yeah it's not then good. they won't talk to you about anything it's and then they'll good. just be pent up frustration and at some point they're going to blow up on you yeah and that's never good because there's nothing good that comes out of like yeah. a blow up argument yeah and the, there's different ways that you can improve communication so i was talking to sharice and uh, and we were talking about this earlier before we got on the show and the thing was, was like, all right, we preach communicate, communicate, communicate. Communication is key to any relationship out there, whether it's business or personal or your love relationship, right? But how do you improve those communication skills with each other? Yes, we know that one person should be talking, the other one should be listening, right? And then reciprocating and then feedback through there. But how do you gain those skills? 
And when you look at a relationship, whether it's a business relationship or a love relationship, it's usually a partnership to some sort of mm -hmm. degree, right? You guys are working together as a team to accomplish a goal, whatever it may be. If that's, you know, love life, children, so on, so on, or that's business, you know, we want to grow, 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 whatever yeah, it may be. We have a couple different options. Yeah, so, and, and we're, we're on both those paths. And usually it's either one or the other, oh, right? Sure. You're in a business relationship with somebody and it doesn't have to be a girl or a guy, but it should be two people, or you're in a love relationship, right? And that's gonna be there. Usually they don't cross over. We're kind of an anomaly here. Mm -hmm. There are some more people out there like us, but it's harder to do, trust me, a lot harder to do. But at that point, you know, you gotta be able to communicate with those people. So use different techniques to do this. Now, one thing that I did, like, or I think that's a really good one, like you guys can both go out and do, and this can be done in a business light or in a love light, right? Is like uh, we used to, and we do it all the time for our family just because we like to do it as fun. Yeah. But um, you know, you go into the escape rooms. I love the or things like rooms. escape rooms. I just don't like being in it with other people. And uh, you know, you can get it for yourselves, <laughs> right? So it listen. Buy the whole room, John. I want to be you in know, there. I you, want your new friends. You could buy the whole room out <laughs> just so it's you and your significant other and, and play this game together. And what does it do? It really does teach teamwork because you guys have to. Go we'll find everything. Uh, attack everything. Look put for these all the puzzle clues. Pieces together. Put the puzzles together. Start answering these questions to ultimately solve the mission, right? Because that's the goal. You guys want to go in there and solve this mission together. And hopefully, it, your significant other is yeah, smart. And people can get frustrated in there too. <laughs> this, this is where the communication comes. Like, don't get frustrated. They're like, I'll help you. I'll this, help you find that you know? that sock. And then you guys can agree on, hey, listen, do we need a clue? Do we not need a clue? This is, you know. You gotta raise your hand. It is. Let's get together. And, and this is something that you yeah, have to agree on together to be able to do. It's not just, oh, I want it. John I never want. wants a clue. I never want the clues. And I'm like. I want a word for I'm it. I'm like, dude, we have like three minutes left and we have not taken any of the three clues. Please let me have a clue. <laughs> I don't like clues. And he's like, fine, myself. clip. But you know, when you get the clue, it'll help you out. And it is what it is. And we've we've conquered a lot of these rooms. Oh yeah, we always so escape. So it's really really cool to do. I think that's just one exercise. There's also things like charades and stuff like that, where you're starting to learn that person, like you know what they're trying to get at, and you guys can communicate with each other without in speaking. silence. I was gonna say without speaking. Dude, that's the best. Because if you can if you can look at your sniffing other in a room, and you guys are let's say oh, 50 feet apart. Yeah, me and John. You guys know that. what you guys are talking about, or thinking, time. dude. That's the Just best. one look across the room. 100%. I already 100%. know. You, and, you know, this will work for you guys too. You'll know you're in trouble. If she looks at you a certain way, oh shit. Uh, My look is, uh, <laughs> I do like, like oh like, shoot. Uh -oh. I do like three blinks or so. Yeah. So and then I smile. You and always like, uh, Okay, time to go. <laughs> so I know we always talk about it every episode, but start doing it. Communicate with your partner or in life, in your relationships, all the way around. Everything. This will definitely benefit you in so many different ways, and I think you'll be a lot happier in a relationship all the way around too as well. So guys, that's the great tip for today. Make sure you're communicating and improving your communication skills for your partner and for a better quality of life all the way around. So guys, we'll see you next week. ABC every Sunday, 11 a.m., Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. And guys, if you guys couldn't watch it live, DVR it. If you miss it there, go to YouTube, type in Titan Medical Center, and watch all the great Cupid Corner, Cupid's Corner episodes and a lot, lot more cool content. Later, guys. Bye. See you next week.